Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Easter week, and I'm so excited about this week. And it's got, you know, Good Friday, which is not really good. It's Bad Friday because Jesus dies, but it's good for us. You know the whole thing. Uh, but this is the week. And I was reading my Bible in the book of Haggai. And in the end of the first chapter, the people are there. They're looking at the place where the temple used to be. It had been destroyed by uh, the Babylonians. And uh, they'd been sent back by King Darius. Says, hey, you can rebuild your temple. And <clears throat> it's just, it's nothing there. And they're going, we, we, we can't do this. We, we don't have enough workers. We don't have enough money. We don't have enough energy. We don't have enough time. You know, what resources they're looking at going, we just don't have enough. Their hands are empty. And here's what the Bible says. God gave Zerubbabel, he was the king, enthusiasm. God gave Joshua, the high priest, enthusiasm. And God gave the people of God that were there enthusiasm to rebuild the temple, to go to work and do the things that they couldn't do because it seemed impossible because they didn't have enough resources. Enthusiasm, that's what they needed in God. He didn't pour out resources on them. He didn't pour, you know, just make bricks and all the stuff. He gave them the courage to step forward, to, to move ahead. It was really, really cool. And uh, the word enthusiasm, in theos, in God, that's what you and I need. When we don't have enough resources, we don't have stuff, we think, oh, if I just had money, oh, if I just had this, if I just had this relationship. It's not what you need. What you need is God in you. And the people that you're talking to are coming to you going, hey, I need some money, I need this help, I need this help. What they really need is God in them. You can put enthusiasm in others by speaking life to them, speaking God to them. When Jesus was walking... Um, through the temple course, he said, destroy this temple, and in three days, I'll rebuild it. And they're like, there's no way. This is Herod's temple. It took 42 years to build. Uh, there's no way you can rebuild it in three days. This is dumb. He goes, but I'm talking about, he says, you think I'm talking about this temple here? I'm talking about the temple of my body. Because when God infuses me with power, I'm going to rise from the dead. You need that power in you, and the people around you need that power in them. And we can give it to them. Put God in them. Allow the power of Christ that's in you to be transferred to them by speaking life to them, encourage them, build them up, let them know that through Christ, all things are possible. Jesus, thank you so much for the beauty of Easter and the, and the power of the resurrection. And God, it can be impossible in our eyes, but you can do the impossible. So help us today to see that, to be enthused with power from God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, love you guys. Let's walk in enthusiasm today. God, fill us with your power. We need you. And uh, look forward to being with you tomorrow.